What's up, what's up, what's up? This your boy Q, the content guy, and I am back for a brand new review. Married to Medicine Season 10, Episode 2. Well, I heard it through the grave. Oh, I heard it through the grave. Fine. Uh, and you say you be my baby. The girls are so ashamed. Oh, I feel so sorry for sweet D. Hey. Heard it through the grapevine. Don't forget to like, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend. Come on over to the channel and cut up. Now let's get into this thing. Let's get into this thing. Let's get into this thing. The show opens, op opens up with Baby Heavenly and that wig falling off. And if you pay attention to what it says at the bottom, executive producer, Mariah. Right. This nasty ass house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Mariah still getting that check down. Um, I love it. Um, and then we show, honey, we go over to Quad House, honey. We I mean, not to Quad. We go over to over there with Quad and Phaedra, honey. Oh, hey, Fay Fay. And I will give Quad this baby. Quad bad. Quad bad. When I tell you, I, I this whole like first part of the like their their maybe like the first five minutes or whatever of them getting together, cutting up. That was a good. That was a good time. They were like good girls, a good time girls. Um, she come in, they twerking and shaking it and doing it and dipping it, spinning it around. A a a a. And then um, they sit down, they talking. Phaedra, Quad says she's no Phaedra. Through, you, of course, you know, do Dr. G. She said Phaedra's a good time. They like to have a good time. She's always fun to be around. And then uh, she's like, girl, can I get some water? And she's like, Benji. <laughs> Joe, when Phaedra, when, when Phaedra said, Benji, Quad going to say, well, where the dog at? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. I don't know why that was so funny to me. But, honey, Benji, come on down. Her uh, Phaedra's butler. He comes on down and gets them some water. She's like, well, who's this fine man? And then she was like, honey, he's too young for me, but he is banging. Honey, he is. He is banging. I can get that. I bet you never, never land. You can get that, Chris. I can get that. Watch me. Um. So, you know, they being messy, they doing what they do best. They talking and talk about the girls and all this kind of stuff. And Phaedra looking at her like, girl, what are you talking about? And she talked about Sweet Tea and about her and Toya being close. And she just said, she know, she needed a break from the girls. They show like everything that happened last season, why she needed a break. And then Quad was like, you know, I just don't know why Toya got such a hate for me. I mean, she really, that girl really has a, has a hate for me. Quad say what? You don't know why Toya don't like you? Is it because you were the same one that went on this this rant about Toya sleeping with the car, not, not sleeping with the contract, but sleeping around the neighborhood with the married man and um sleeping with the sleeping sleeping around the hood and all this kind of stuff and um not around the hood, sleeping around the sorry, I was trying to unlock my phone, sleeping around the neighborhood. With this married man and Eugene um, had a small wee wee and what else did she say that you done broke into Anila's house? But Quad, you don't know why you don't you don't know why the girl don't like you, huh? You don't know why the girl don't like you? Okay, okay, okay. So I was confused and Heavenly was confused, and then she talks about. Toya bringing up her DUI case, and she's like, Toya just trying to put that out there. You know, it was it was it was seized, and the case no longer exists, and it was taken care of. And I'm like, girl, Toya not doing nothing no different than what you're doing. And and my thing is, I don't actually have a problem with Toya keeping her neck, keeping her foot on your neck. I ain't got no issue with it because it you it needs to be there because you were dead wrong for the way that you treated that girl. It's just it is what it is. There's no way of getting around it. You were dead wrong. So. 
you know, it is what it is. She talked about Heavenly. Now, I don't understand Quad and Heavenly's friendship because my thing is you got so much smoke for Toya, you ain't got half this smoke for, uh, for Heavenly. Half of it. And Heavenly drags you more than Toya do. So, you know, hold on. Sorry, y'all. My dog's ready to start barking. So, you know, Heavenly, she got all the smoke for you and saying all these nasty things about you. So I don't know why you friends with Heavenly, but honey, you love it, honey. I like it or whatever the saying is. Child, we over here at Goldie House. Goldie is in there making that chicken. She thought the chicken was lovely. I love the chicken. The chicken was lovely. And... She over there preparing for Dr. G. She is saying that she loves to cook for Dr. G. He, you know, that's her man, my man, my man, my man. And how, you know, she just, that that's that's her man. That's her man. And she gonna stick beside him. And, and you know, she gonna cook for him and do all the things for him. Mm, oh, sweet tea. Oh, sweet tea. Oh, sweet tea. Baby, sweet tea from the South. She from the, you know what I got you know what I'm gonna say? It's not even about her being a South. She's just a natural girl and she ain't got under the under the table yet. So it's easy to make fun of her because she ain't got under the under the knife yet. Unlike heavily quad and pager. Um now this is the part that was I was confused at. Dr. G is telling her, um, you know, I'm stressed. This wedding shouldn't be stressful. And she looking at him like, all you're doing is paying for it. He was like, yes, yeah, that's enough. How much money did you put in? Say what now? Why does she have to put her money into it? Why does she got to put her money into it? You the one you the, you the one that proposed to her. Unless that's something we don't know. And you the breadwinner. So why she got to put her money into it? She should have to. She planted it, right? So she said, well, I put 10% into it. And he's like, you know, the wedding is supposed to be not supposed to be stressful, and I ain't supposed to hear how stressful it is. I'm not supposed to hear none of this. Red flag. I'm talking about my red flag. Oh, red flag. I'm talking about my red flags. The bread is over there, Doctor Jackie office. <clears throat> Oh, with Toya House, honey, Toya, Toya is on the phone with Sweet Tea, talking about trying to invite her to her wine club, letting everybody know she a boss. You know what I'm saying? Letting everybody know she a boss, and she got to go on. You want to know what a motherfucking boss looks like, bitch? You looking at one? A bitch that handles big business. So that's Toya. She handled big business. Um, her and Eugene had the sex talk. Eugene said, I didn't get the same conversation that your mother got. I got some condoms. And your daddy said, go out there. If you get somebody pregnant, I'll kill you. So the boy's looking at him like, say what? Hmm? Say what now? Hmm, okay. So then they sitting over there. You know, the boys are confused, honey. They don't know what's going on. They like, child, what we got ourselves into they talk about feelings and thoughts and acting responsible, you know, acting responsibly, not irresponsible. They talk about orgasms and sperm and you, you we we getting up and getting down and around and around. And at the end of the day, it was a good conversation. It was a fun conversation, and they did not make the hopefully they did not make the boys feel uncomfortable. Um, but it was also informative. They was letting them know about STDs, they was letting them know about. You know, getting somebody pregnant, you know, letting them know the same thing. I'm sure the conversation went on much longer than what we've seen, but it was just a good, a good conversation. So, you know, I really, really enjoy, I, I, I they are my second favorite couple. Eugene and Toya are my second favorite couple. I mean, they, they right behind Cecil and Simone. They are literally my fav, second favorite couple on the show. Um, <clears throat> Child. Honey, Sweetie, um, Phaedra, and Toya, Tacky Toy, are helping her get her wedding dress. Um, they're trying to get her, you know, she's trying to get this dress out, honey. They reading her down at the same time. Talking about, girl, you know, you butt challenged, and 
you need some garments to try to, you know, squeeze that waist in and lift them titties up. And yeah, so I said, well, who needs enemies when you got friends like them? And some girl, some big face girl sitting next to them and asking about how did they meet? And she said, we met online and they looking at her like, say what? And I'm looking at her like, say what now? Say, say, say what? Say what now? Now I'm like, did I hear that bitch right? And they said it's for a support group of older men and and it took the phaser in the conversation like they what they gonna talk about like blockbuster and VCR and CDs, toy and other confessional talking about some the penis don't get hard and phaser didn't say I don't want to be no nurse so now I ain't got nothing in common so you know the shade of it all. 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 Okay. Um, Toya's getting ready for her wine party. Eugene is telling her, you know, pray. Don't I mean, excuse me, don't pay the ladies no mind. Don't pay the haters no mind. Um, they all get there. Sweet tea is like you were being mean to me. And I don't know what happened. We got on. Jackie look nice. I don't know. You see Jackie Red Cage. Oh, Jackie. I'm mean, gonna Jackie eat a burger. Jackie, we can see your rib cage, mama. That ain't that ain't we can okay. <clears throat> um Sweetie said they were being mean to her when they went shopping yesterday, and she was like, We weren't being mean. We were just saying, girl, get you a foundation, get to help with the girdle. I mean, get a girdle house with the foundation. She's like, Well, that was mean. Sweet tea, you can use a girdle, mama. You can use a girdle. Girdle. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> Heavy was like, girl, I heard you was in therapy for dating older men. I'm like, this girl. So they're looking at her face. You're like, girl, that ain't what I told you. I said she is in a support group. <laughs> And she said, it's not a support group. It's actually a Facebook group, honey. She said, do you want to join too? I said, oh, Heavenly, you might want to watch out because she probably won't be the one that bop you in your mouth. Um, they asked her, "Has did anything else offend them? I mean, offend her. And she was like, y'all can't bring up Kwa's name at the party. And, you know, she's emotional. She's stressed. She's not being, she's not getting the support that she needs. And she's not getting the support that she needs. Um, she said, so her and Simone go off into the bathroom. They're talking. Um, and Simone's just pretty much like, girl, you got this. You know what I'm saying? We can be aggressive, but girl, you got this. They play a game. Simone won box wine, bitch. That means Simone like a good box wine from Costco's. Um, Sweet Tea was like, honey, I'm ready to go home. I got to finish finish planning my, my wedding. Baby Sweet Tea gets up. Oh, mama. Oh, Sweet Tea. Oh, baby, we see the tag off the dress. Oh, sweet tea. Oh. Oh, sweet tea. Oh, sweet tea. Oh, no, 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 no. She is a diva. So the dress is back there and the tag is up there and baby Jackie in the confession going to say, Maybe she wanted to take the dress back because she ain't got Big Daddy money yet. <laughs> I said, oh, Jackie, are we reading? Hmm. Was that shade, Jackie? They helped Sweet Tea put the tag back in the dress. Oh, Sweet Tea. Um, uh, Phaedra and Dr. G go and meet up and Dr. G. Dr. G is not is, is not a bad looking man at all. Um, they talk about a marriage, and she's like, Do you want to get married? And um he said, I'm not afraid to get married. She's like, Y'all gotta have the same mindset because she much older, Papa. And he was like, I don't know if I was the predator or the prey, because she pursued him, but she makes him feel comfortable. He said he had a safety with her that he did not have with Quad. I said, Oh. 
what's caught in there whooping your ass? Your ass? Your ass? Your ass? Um, so, um, he says, you know, it's also, it's also, it's always good to know somebody is your friend. That's the most important thing. Faye just said that you getting a prenup. He sat back and was like, um, well, I haven't thought about it. Do you think that she, and, and in the confessional phase, is like, well, I just want to make sure that she's with him for the love and not for the money. So, okay. Phaedra says she don't know she'll get married again. And I mean, Phaedra, you can't get married to an emoji girl. So, but you know, each his own. Um, and she says, you know, I hope Sweet Tea is with him for his for, for the love. And if she can give him a baby, baby, that would be the uh, heir, baby. That would be all she needs. And she secured the deal. And that was the end of Married to Medicine. Oh, Sweet Tea looked good in this, this confessional. She looked good. Now, this is on point. Um, it was a good episode. I tell y'all time and time again, Mary the Medicine got it going on. What, what, uh. So, you know, next week it's going to be getting, it's going to be popping. Baby Qua going to show up to the bachelorette party and I'm going to be like. <laughs> so, yeah, we moving quick. We moving quick. Um. Anyway, y'all, I got to go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend. Come on over to the channel and have a good old time. Bye.